Hello everyone, Genesis Writer here with a quick tips and tricks tutorial video on the Xbox One's audio adapter, which you can see I've already fit into the bottom of my Xbox One controller here. Now this video is specifically for people who have already plugged it in and started using it after updating the controller and following the quick start guides instructions. This video will also dramatically help those of you who have an Astro headset or similar headset and you're using this little dongle piece that comes with the adapter to plug in the chat cable from your headset into the bottom of this little adapter here. And you're hearing the game sound double and don't know how to fix that issue. Uh, even more specifically, I'll be simply going over the button functions on the adapter and what they do because I was confused along with a lot of other people as to what these two buttons on the side do, the plus icon on top of the controller and the plus icon on top of the figure or of a person. Okay, this is obviously the mute switch. This is obviously the volume control of what is being outputted from this to your headset, but I didn't understand what the other two buttons were for. So let me back up and explain a little bit. This audio adapter is not just to output chat to your headset, which I actually was at first under the impression that's what it was only for. Really, really cool thing about this adapter is that it not only can output chat audio to your headset, but it can also, through this little cable, output game audio. So when I got this adapter, I was surprised to eventually discover that I was hearing the game sound double because I was already hearing it through my Astro headset, obviously. So when I plugged in the game adapter, I was hearing my teammates and the game sound in the background a second time via stereo game sound. This can output stereo, not surround sound, obviously. But my headset was surround sound, so there's a clear difference between the two, and I was hearing the game sound double. So I was like, wait, how do I turn down the game sound that's coming from the chat adapter? So for those of you late-night gamers, that's awesome because this adapter provides game sound. But how do you uh, mix the difference levels between uh, your friend's chat volume here on the right hand side let's pretend and the game volume here on the left hand side in front of my little halo poster here so how do you mix the difference between the two because this button on the side here only raises the volume of both equally okay that's the only thing that this uh the plus and minus buttons on the side of the adapter do so, what these do, okay, what these buttons on the side of the controller do, they actually mix the volume between those two sources. So we have uh, your friend's chat here and the game audio here. It just monitors the difference between them, you see? Now, this is very, very similar to the Astro A40 uh, uh, mix amps little button or knob on the bottom of the mix amp, as you can see right here. And if for, the, for those of you who have an Astro, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It, it changes the difference between the two, not the volume level of both. So all I had to do to stop hearing the game sound double was turn down uh, my uh, game volume from the adapter all the way. And how do I do that? Well, obviously, by turning up the chat volume all the way. And that's exactly what these little buttons are for. This little button on the side that has the plus icon on top of the person is to turn up the chat volume and turn down the game volume. Likewise, or conversely, uh, this little plus icon on top of the controller is to turn up game volume and turn down chat volume. Now, all of this is volume from this adapter to your headset, obviously. And this is just to monitor the volume of whatever equalizers, whatever equalizer you have set with these two buttons. So all I had to do is come over here and tap and hold this button. And eventually I heard a little beep in my headset. And I was like, okay, what's that? And by experimenting going up and down with these two, I realized that if I just press and hold this and then I hear this little beep, that has essentially turned up my chat volume all the way and turn down the game volume all the way. So I'm only hearing my friend's chat and I'm hearing zero game volume from this little adapter. So now I'm only hearing the game volume through my Astray 40 headset via the optical cable in my mix amp. 
and I'm then uh, using the, the adapter only for in-game chat. That's really, really nice. And it's cool that this uh, adapter has this extra feature, but I was not aware of this feature. And that's, that's really uh, nice that they had included it in the adapter. So I hope that uh, tutorial explains to you uh, what this means. A little side note I'll mention at the end here. Um, when I first got the adapter, and when you first get this adapter, it is set 50-50 so that the uh, chat volume is 50% and the game volume is 50%. So you have to manually go in and use these buttons on the side. All right, so I probably had accidentally pressed the plus controller button thinking, oh, this is adding a controller, you know? This is adding a person. I can sign in with this button, you know? It's just, I don't know why I thought that, but it wasn't in the quick start manual that I'm aware of when I got the uh, adapter. And I'm very careful to read my manual. So I hope this uh, tutorial video helped explain uh, the adapter and what it's used for. And um, maybe some of you can plug in your little uh, iPod earphones to this and try out the game volume and you know play around with it late at night so you don't bother someone in another room or uh, anything of that nature. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, leave any questions you have about this adapter in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace.